we're moving into muscles of the foot now, and we're going to look at extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis. So this is a really good shot we can get if he just brings his toes up a little more here. So what we have here is the tendons of extensor digitorum longus right here. You can see. And then just off to the side you can see the extensor digitorum brevis poking their way through. Now these are going to go right into the uh, extensor expansion of all four toes and the origination point is the anterior lateral surface of the calcaneus and the muscle belly is actually right where my finger is pointing right now so go into full full extension for me all the way back so you can see this ball is going to be extensor digitorum brevis and then the top part right here is going to be extensor hallucis brevis that's going to give a tendon all the way to the great toe here Muscle test for this is we're going to try and push down into flexion so he can go back up into extension. I can support across the ankle and I can do all four at once by just gently pushing down, noticing the contraction of the tendons. Or I can do one at a time, so bring that pinky toe right back, hold there. And then you can just do one at a time. This is not as strong a move as the flexor tendons. So don't go too hard, just slowly load in and slowly load out. But again, you're feeling for the contraction as well as noting the contraction in the muscle belly here as well as the tendons all across the top of the foot. For extensor halysis brevis, what we'll do is bring your toe all the way back and then hold there nice and strong. Or again, we can support right across the toe. You can palpate, see if the top, top fibers are contracting right beneath my index finger here.